James, you're currently a student here at the University of South Wales and about to graduate in just three months. If you had to sum into thoughts your first kind of feelings when you realised you were graduating, how, how would you put that into words? Um, it's just a shock to know that you just got to suddenly go out there and earn money and have an actual life. You can't just rely on student loans, which is what I've done. And <laughs> it's fun. Like, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I really want to leave, but at the same time, I really don't want to. Now, you actually have done quite well for yourself and you started up your own business with your friend from Newport. Would you like to tell us more about that? Yeah, well, it was uh, me and a friend. We set up this small company uh, called Flawless Films and we started with stuff like weddings. So we've done a few of those. We've done... Uh, uh, promotional campaigns, so like adverts, things like that. We've done a couple of documentaries as well. Yeah, we basically just set it up and we just said, oh, we'll do anything, anything and everything. We're just happy to do it as long as it involves filming. How did it start making a profit? When did it become a profitable business? Uh, a couple of years ago now. Two years ago-ish now, but um, it was just that one moment where someone went, oh, so what you did with this wedding. Like, I've really loved it myself, like how much, how much do you charge for it? I'm just like, oh, we can, we can charge money for this? <laughs> Oh, that's great, yeah, no, okay, yeah, no, yeah, we'll, we'll charge, we're professionals, you know, and then just went, went on from there. You built yourselves quite a really, really strong portfolio and showreel from this. Now, what would your advice be to anyone building one in university? The best thing to do is just keep doing it, because at the end of the day, it, as bad as this may sound, the degree means nothing when you go into film. It's literally, someone will go, oh, show me something you've made and then that's how you get it. So if you don't have anything to show, then you can't get anything. No one's going to be like, oh, this guy's got an awesome showreel, but this guy has a degree, but has nothing. You're not going to go for the degree. You're going to go for the person who's proven they do something. So even if you fake it, even if you just like mock up shots to put in a showreel, just make stuff and keep doing it. That's easily the best way to go about it. For all the people who are still in university and they're just starting and they're going to be graduating in three, four years time, can you give us just simple quick advice for what you would say they need to do while they're at university. Don't rely on university to make your uh, showreel because if you do that you're not going to get an awful lot from it. You've got to go out and just, like I said, even if it's just faking stuff, just make stuff with friends and just keep doing that. It's like I try and make a video at least once a week. What the... Thank you so much for talking to us, James, and good luck in the future. Thank you.